Encircling the globe along the equator, from South America through Africa and Southeast Asia, is the magnificent rainforest. Covering just 6% of the land surface of the planet, the rainforest contains more than half of all animals and plant species. Scientists believe that the Malaysian rainforest could have been in existence for as long as 140 million years. The amazing rainforest has still much to teach us, but has been steadily declining. 77% of Peninsular Malaysia was forested in the 1940s, but in 2002, almost half of that was gone. The Mungo is a typical Malaysian rainforest that is facing an uncertain future. Covering almost 150,000 hectares, Temungo lies in the northern state of Pera. Together with the Belum Forest Reserve to the north, it forms Peninsular Malaysia's second largest remaining block of rainforest, almost four times the size of Singapore. When a dam was constructed for hydroelectric power in the 1970s, Temungo and Belum lost over 11,000 hectares of lowland forests. But this did not deter scientists from studying the area. Results confirm that the forest contains a high level of biodiversity. Biodiversity is a variety of plants and animals and other living things that are all around us. From the tiniest creatures living in the soil to giant trees. From algae in the rivers to endangered tigers. From bizarre creatures to extraordinary plants. Though far from being fully documented, species diversity in Temungo is remarkable. There are over 3,000 flowering plants, more than 270 birds, over 100 mammals, more than 165 species of butterflies, and over 24 species of amphibians. Temungo is a vast area in Pera. Some, most of them are untouched and not botanized by anybody, even not much research has been conducted in many, many places. I think we've been touching you know, the tip of the iceberg. Trees dominate life in the jungle. There are between 3,000 to 5,000 species within a Malaysian rainforest. It is estimated that a 25-acre patch of forest here supports more types of trees than the whole of the United States. The forests of Temungo include plant characteristics of two different botanical regions, the ever-wet Sundaic rainforests of Peninsular Malaysia, Sumatra and Borneo, and a more seasonal rainforest in the Thai, Burmese and Indochinese regions. There are also tree species here that are endemic, meaning they are found nowhere else on Earth. It is the large trees which are most at risk. About a third are dipterocarps. They are prized timbers. Some trees can fetch up to 30,000 ringgit each. The harsh reality is, Temungo is being logged. Loggers are moving into areas of pristine forests to extract timber of high commercial value. See, logging means taking out a certain portion of the original structure of the forest. Huh? And logging activity mainly concentrate on the big, big trees. Okay? Commercial uh, big trees. Huh? And the damage of the forest after logging is depend on many, many uh, criteria. But when you talk from biodiversity conservation point of view, any kind of logging is damaging. Removing mature trees has considerable impact on inhabitants of the rainforest. All life here is interlinked in a fragile web where each one is essential to maintain overall balance. Relationships occur everywhere in the rainforest. 
Fungi are worth billions of ringgit to the timber industry, for many species are essential to the growth of tree seedlings. The relationship takes place underground between tree roots and fungal strands. In this interdependent relationship, the tree receives mineral nutrients from the fungus, while the fungus obtains carbon compounds from the tree. Very little is known about fungi. Perhaps only 20% of Peninsular Malaysia's larger fungi have been described. Everything in the forest has a purpose. Fungi and other soil animals like termites are essential to decomposition and nutrient recycling in the rainforest. Large branches fall and frequently even whole trees. Vast armies of recyclers start working. Nothing in the forest goes to waste. The forest is a never-ending cycle of death, decay and regeneration. The complex network of relationships that exist make the rainforest exceptional. Totally dependent on the tetrastigma vine, the Raphalesia is undoubtedly the most stunning flower in the Temungo rainforest. It lives inside this woody climber as microscopic threads for much of its life. It makes its first appearance as hard flower buds, then after nine months, blooms into the world's largest flower. Three species have been described in Peninsular Malaysia, all of which can be found in Temungo. Every Raphalesia site is vital to their survival. Sadly, this site that existed in 2004 has been destroyed by logging trails two years later. In the last 50 years, about 2% or about 170 species of flowering plants in Peninsular Malaysia became extinct. If the present rate of rainforest felling continues, the extinction rate could rise to 20% or more. Every two years, the planet is possibly losing one major drug. 25% of modern medicines are from tropical plants, but less than 10% have been screened for pharmaceutical applications. We are in danger of finding that just when the lid on nature's medicine chest is being opened, we have lost the contents. The orang asli of Temungo have always depended on the forest for medicines and hunt for small mammals for their needs. Based on our studies for one and a half years in, in Temungo area, uh, I would safely say that well, uh, the, the biodiversity there is very, very rich and is definitely comparable to the, uh, the vertebrate biodiversity in Taman Negara as well as in Kaugame Reserve. With one exception, that in, in Temango area, there are, uh, there are greater numbers of larger mammals. Gaos, tigers, tapes, rhinos and elephants are amongst the big mammals that can be found in Temango. Elephants and many other animals are attracted to the numerous salt licks within the Temango area. Salt licks are very much like health outlets where various minerals and salts can be obtained. The majority of creatures in the Temungo forest are insects. Previous scientific expeditions have revealed new and exciting species. Temungo is internationally acknowledged as an important bird area. So far, over 270 bird species have been recorded. During the fruiting season, a rare spectacle has been observed in Temungo. Flocks of wreath and plain pouch hornbills of up to 2,400 birds in just one evening have been seen. These numbers are unprecedented anywhere in the world. 
They indicate that the whole area of Belum and Temenggo, the biggest contiguous forest block in the northern peninsula, holds a massive hornbill population that behaves as a single unit. This is the only area in Malaysia where all 10 hornbill species can be seen. There is still much to learn about these hornbills, but as more and more commercial tree species are being felled, there will be fewer places for hornbills to roost or nest. Recent observations since logging has been active indicate a marked reduction in their numbers.